So is, we're Let's starting. Introduce. We're starting three right now, right? Sure. Okay. That's mm-hmm. a number. That sounds right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> three. Okay. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to No Strategy Guide. This is Corey, Ed, and Ellie being the trifecta gay dad. Well, bisexual dad. We had we had a wife that we loved very much. Bi- <laughs> trifecta bisexual dad. Known only as Frodrick. I think we're just going to go over <laughs> the edge and just say gay now. No. Because there, no. there ain't a woman on no. the list. No bi erasure on my show. Oh, good lord. <laughs> no, we are bisexual. At least, maybe pansexual. I'm pansexual. I'm one third of this. We're at least bi. I'm, I'm, I'm straight, so yeah. I'm also straight, but we're also opposite genders, so we're bisexual. I was gonna say we're at least bi. <laughs> <laughs> we have straight male, straight woman, and then pansexual is that third. We're at least bi. <laughs> I mean, like technically, I have dated and been with a woman, but it wasn't fun, and I don't want to do it again. There you go. <laughs> That is not dating women. women. Am I right? It's not, right yeah. it's not dating women in general. It's dating the woman she did. Just, <laughs> just to clarify, uh, Craig and I were Craig and I were a good roommate. Give me a lifetime. I, I I saw romance in there friend. instead of roommates. A good ro- romance. A good romance can be a lifelong keg stand. Oh yeah. He can hold. But don't it. even get me started on bad roommates. Also, Craig. <laughs> I got, Ironically, he's he's one in the same. I got stabbed once. You want to know where I got the scar? Marinara sauce. Mm. Mm. Craig was really really angry. Oh no. <laughs> I took his marinara sauce. I made pasta with it. I didn't know. <laughs> didn't know that was a smoothie. I'm <laughs> just kidding. We didn't have a bad roommate. Our only other roommate was a puppy. It was a puppy that Craig brought home one night. Where is he getting all these animals? <laughs> we spent a semester fabricating a story about our new foreign exchange <laughs> student who had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. I want to play college for a Oh, my God. Wow. Carl Rule. <laughs> Carl the dog. Carl. He's from Germany. <laughs> Ooh, they let you have animals in the dorms if you get a note saying you need one. I bet I could forge one. I think Damn. I could get a rabbit or maybe a snake or maybe both. Will the snake no. eat a rabbit, though? No, 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 no. You, you Amanda, no. That. Stop. Hey, I think I'll leave that all no, up to Frederick. you. Don't leave you that have, up to her. You have my permission to forge any... <laughs> She Rule just, breaking. She just literally gave you the reason why you shouldn't be letting her do that. Yeah. She's so excited. I don't want to disappoint her, but I need to be real for a second. So, you know I had a talk with Mr. Vega. Mm. He didn't tell you Whoa. about what? the dumpster fire, did he? What? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to put a damper on the good news, but I need you to knock it out of the park with these last few months of school, right? If you really want to go to Horns... <laughs> you really want to go to Horny's? Yeah. That, that, See? Is that the thing? See? You we, made fun of me. We need Fuck that you scholarship. Uh, it's just the We're apost- still making fun of you. It's just the apostrophe <laughs> S here is really fucking with me. Like, like I would have just said Horn because, you know, that's the title of the school. But this apostrophe S just turns immediately into Horniness. <laughs> turns into at least Horniness, ma- straight into Horny's. For it's me. Horny's. <laughs> like, this is just, this is messing with my brain. We need that scholarship money. To get horny. I know you can, no. It, too horny, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just like, do not tell your daughter that you need to get horny. <laughs> no. I know you can do it. Okay. Oh, oh she looks old. I was going to say, she got the puffs back. Mm. I promise I'll try harder. I pat her on the back. Sweetie. Think you can handle the 14-hour drive to come home for the holidays? There's going to be some treacherous <laughs> ice <laughs> Oh, no. Your car yes. might be haunted, too. And don't even get me started <laughs> on the paranormal <laughs> occurrences. Ken. Well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. Clam. Yeah, <laughs> My oh, eyes immediately yeah. well up with tears. Nope, <laughs> Dad, don't cry. Sam's. Don't do it. Hey, very proud of you. You're all grown up now, and you're such a good person. <laughs> I hope you know how important you are to me. Dad, stop. You're going to make me cry, too. Stop. Stop. It's too late. Stop. <laughs> it's happening. Stop. Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's going to taste sad. 
<laughs> I pull Aww. Amanda in for a hug and kiss her oh on the forehead. God. This is the cutest shit in the world. Love you, kiddo. Yeah. <laughs> Love you too, bud. It's going to taste sad. It's, it's going sad. to taste sad. Nothing can beat reading in you print. I kind of just want to go straight Matt. Like, he's just so good. Can we see if he has a heart now? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> it's really cute, Phil, then. Like, All right. Um... I do Let's love go Matt, back but for I right wanna... now. Do you want to see any others? Creeper. Click on Hugo. Creeper. Because we Creeper. made him have hearts before. I want to see if the thingy's filled in. Mm -hmm. um, also, I figured something out. Uh, there's three. Mm -hmm. um, there's hearts, which is happy slash romantic. There's the black stuff, which is we've made them unhappy. And then there's also eggplants, I guess, if we make them horny. Nice. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, my. Something that I guess is a physical turn on rather than a romantic turn it's on. It's a daddy point. <laughs> Middle school teacher, high school teacher, writer of scholarly articles on 18th century literature for various esteemed publications. If you're on here to tell me that my son has put a cherry juice. bomb in your trash, I know and I'm sorry. <laughs> On a Friday night, you are most likely to brood some strong tea and paint my Oops. miniatures. Paint your miniatures, you fucking nerd. <laughs> I do that too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you had one thing to take with you on a desert island, what would it be? A remembrance of things past by Marcel Proust. Proust. It's Proust. Proust. But how is that supposed to help you on the island? You're going to die. He doesn't care. He wants to stay turn on ons, the island and read a good turn book. Turn-ons are muscles. Wow. Damn, he got right to the point. Oh my. He wanted to be a movie star when he grew up. Documentaries on art history is yeah. favorite movie genre. What's your ideal date? Each of us read a different book on opposite <laughs> side of the couch in a comfortable <laughs> silence. What do you never leave home without? My glasses. Actually, I forget them at home a lot. Considering I I don't think I've seen you in glasses. Have we? We saw him once. I, maybe at school. Yeah. I spent yeah. a lot of my time thinking about... I worry. I worry that people are against e-readers, who are against e-readers, are more in love with the idea of books than actually reading them. Huh. What? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So he's saying people are like, "Oh, books are better," or just they like the idea of books, I but mean, they're not actually reading the books. They're just yeah. trying to sound like they're smart. I mean, and yeah. not I smart. don't prefer e-readers. I like holding a book in my hand. Damien. 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 How do you do? I finally decided, decided to join this information superhighway. I'm not entirely sure how this works, but I will try my best to understand. I love long strolls through graveyards <laughs> and spending time with my son. If you would ever like to chat about the latest the Victorian... Latest. You know that period's <laughs> over, dude. There, there's only one latest... You take that back! <laughs> there, there's only one latest Silence, now. you can! <laughs> <laughs> The inevitability of our own demise are black cats. Please send me a letter. I love him. <laughs> On a Friday night, you are most likely to listen to a true listen to two true crime broadcasts while I taxidermy my newest specimens. Damien, no. Damien, I love you. He's a perfect. Coffin. <laughs> Damn. At least he's prepared. <laughs> Pronouncing bosom correctly. Bossum. Yeah. Bossum. Bo bosom. 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 Gonna play the basome. Uh, what did you want to be? A bat. A bat. <laughs> nice. Your favorite genre? Oh my God. Foreign art house horror. No, sweetie. No. Okay. <laughs> Ideal date. It's night. We are at an industrial dark wave <laughs> club in Berlin. Oh no. The music drums to the beat of our hearts. Uh -uh. Wow. <laughs> no, too much for me. I was gonna say that's a little yeah, specific. A Jesus, man. What do you never leave home without? An upside down cross. That's that's going beyond goth there, but spend all right. a little, <laughs> spend a lot of time thinking about mortality sa salience, sa salience. All right, he might yep. be a little too intense. That's uh, that's a lot, yeah. <laughs> I was fine up until the can we his ideal date. Can we read Roberts? I just I'm curious. <laughs> Turn on, <See>? fucking. <laughs> See, like, he looks kind of annoyed, and then when you do this, he looks like he's gotten annoyed enough to confront you about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are we going to do this or what? When the internet gains sentience and decides to destroy us all, you know it'll use this information against us, right? Oh, Lord. 
On a Friday night, you are most likely to make a deal in an alleyway. Have it go badly. Who's the cop? Was it was it Giacomo? I, I trusted Giacomo. If you had to take one thing onto the desert island, what would it be? Gun. Gun. <laughs> what are your turns on? Don't talk to me. <laughs> what did you want to be know. when you grew up? Grifter. Uh, no. No, he didn't. <laughs> I wanted to be a con artist, is what he just said. Uh, wow. What's your favorite movie genre? Italian neorealism. <laughs> Oh, all right. What's your ideal grave? What's your ideal date? Grave robbing. What do you never leave home without? At least four knives. Holy you spend shit. a lot of time thinking about. You ever look really? You ever look really look into a rabbit animal's eyes? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. No, I like, I like his uh, his his last one. Can we can we see Joseph? Joseph. No, oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh Voted Maple Ugh. Bay is number one youth He's pastor for perfect. five years running, living in my hometown with my beautiful wife and our four amazing kids. He will if murder I'm, us. <laughs> uh-huh. If I'm not in church, you can catch me out <laughs> on the open water, setting sail on the seas of adventure. I love playing guitar and crushing crushing my kids. At Candyland. At Candyland, a video game. It's a board game, you idiot. It At might Candyland. be a video game by now. Oh, I was thinking of Candy Suck Crush. My dick. <laughs> Uh, on a Friday night, you are most likely to lead the community in a fun mixer. Oh, oh God. No. I'm already going to sleep. I'm going to I'm gonna tell you one thing. They're not fun. What are my turn <laughs> They're all bad. My loving wife. Yeah. You wouldn't be on dad book. Oh, my Loved God. Your wife. Mm. What's your favorite movie genre? Feel good movies, of course. It's your ideal date. Lovely night on the town with my wife. Doing what? You're too boring. Unless you're purging. And then you're too killing. She just goes to drink. <laughs> What do you never leave at home without? This hand the, doesn't have a wine glass book. in it. The good book. The, the freaking book. Bible. Yeah. Uh, I spent a lot of time thinking about how I can be a better man, husband. Oh, my God. Okay. now hold Go on. back to the Navy. Hold on. One thing. I don't like him at all. Kind of want to seduce him away. From his wife, from just three. I, I do want to ruin his asshole. family. <laughs> and I still want to know where his baby is. Tough shit. I, I'm convinced it may not actually exist or it's already He's dead. He's an entrepreneur? What? <laughs> Dad of three, business on, entrepreneur. I just said mm-hmm. that word, damn it. And fitness enthusiast, juggling. Entrepreneur. <laughs> juggling work, family, and fitness is a tough gig, but someone's got to do it. Okay. Friday night, you are. No, 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 no. Skip to what did you want to be when you grew up? Beer pong no. world champion. No, that, no, he didn't. Yeah. No. I can believe buddy a- cops, buddy cop movies forever. That's the genre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My mild time used to be so good. What happened? Have I peaked? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh man. Okay, so. I I mean I'm. Well, the only one we haven't looked at, I think, is Brian. I'm so not interested. Yeah, I guess we did look at all the others. Hi, I'm Brian. I spend most of my days hanging out with my awesome daughter and thinking up new w- ways to grill things. If you like fishing, then we'll get along. Oh, no. You're boring. <laughs> hmm. On a Friday night, you are most likely to see just how slowly I can cook a piece of bris- Jesus. Wow. Uh, if you had one thing, t- that's actually useful. I'm okay with that. Uh, what are your turn? A keen understanding of steak cuts. Oh. Uh, yeah. Jack what do you? Building. What did you want to be when he you grew so up? Boring. A fireman? Yeah. It's your favorite. See, I movie. believe that though. <laughs> Romantic comedies, uh, ideal date deck building. That's kind of cute. Like card games or like an actual deck. What do you leave home without? My portable fishing pole. Hmm. What types of fishing? There's... I think he's building an actual deck. Oh, okay. I'd be mm-hmm. very surprised if it was card games. Okay. Yeah, he does not strike me as a card game. I, I don't think it's Magic the Gathering. He, he likes to. to do. He likes to go fishing. He's not dueling out in the boat. Duel. <laughs> 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 I oh summon sea bass. Could you imagine a Yu-Gi-Oh dating sim? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there is. Spent a lot of time thinking about how my daughter is smarter oh my than God. I am. Corey. Oh. I have this idea. No. 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 Bandai would sue us. It, ben, do you guys want to... Banco Namkai would sue us? <laughs> God damn it. I'm curious about Joseph, but I actually like Matt. <laughs> Matt's really good. Uh, I think we're. I think we've all just fallen in love with Matt. Let's right. be honest. He just, he's so sweet. All right. 
Matsela. I was going to say, that's a pretty last name. Matsela. Matsela. Carmencita Sela. Sela. Don't Matsela. trust gas station egg sandwiches. Still mm-hmm. a no. good tip. Mm-hmm. Don't do it. In fact, don't trust an egg salad sandwich you haven't made yourself. <laughs> True. Instead of messaging the guy, why don't I just walk over and grab some coffee? I'm feeling really sluggish today anyway. <laughs> By the way, coffee is my new pet name for him. <laughs> <laughs> it's my name for his dick. Wow. <laughs> Amanda. Amanda sticks her head out of her room. I'm just imagining, <laughs> like, you see the the door frame and her head just pops out completely horizontal. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> That's what I've been thinking. <laughs> Father, <laughs> want to go to a coffee spoon? <laughs> you want to join me on a date? <laughs> oh, so you get called cool once, and now you're the cool dad who hangs out at the coffee shops and listens to neo jazz and stuff. Maybe. Fucking brutal! I love her, Amanda. <laughs> that, Are you going to bring your laptop and your leather-bound journal so you can work on your poetry anthology? <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's going, Damn. going for blood. <laughs> just Look because, at how high that eyebrow is. Just because you got, I got into you, a bitch. school now. I got you. <laughs> look, honey. Do you want me to buy you coffee or not? <laughs> just, like, look how high that eyebrow is. She is. This is the most sass she can fit on her face. Like. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Let me grab my laptop and my little bound journal. <laughs> You're staying home. <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, ew. Oh, not him. Not him. Don't I don't like food. looking at him. <laughs> Who gave you the license? <laughs> Ama- uh. Amanda and I make a short walk over to the coffee spoon. The place is quiet today. Just a few people hanging out and reading books in the cozy little nooks. Mm-mm. I walk up to the counter and see a familiar, pierced, greasy face. He doesn't have any facial piercings. <laughs> hey, you were the dude I yelled at a bunch of the other night. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda casts a sideways glance at me. <laughs> he tried to tell, sell me some t-shirts. Amanda's immediately like, no. And who might you be, miss? Aww. This is my daughter, Amanda. The person I am father to and I'm very protective of. <laughs> Good. An honor to make you your acquaintance. My name is Pablo. Did I mention that I make witch house music? No. Mm. Oh. I wouldn't call witch house music, but okay. Fuck. She can handle herself. A piercing blow to my ego. They're not one that will dissuade my need to impress you. Wow. (laughs) Oh, my God. Pablo. He's winning for me, though. (laughs) I'm like, all right. You've got the attitude. I was going to say. That belly shirt is not working for you, though, buddy. My innate dad senses tingle. I'm overwhelmed with fatherly protective energy. I must do something to protect (laughs) my child. Are we doing another Pokemon fight? See, I'm down with dudes in belly shirts. But the thing is, they called him Krusty, and none of this, like, this might be hair. Because, I mean, on some of the other art for the characters, Uh like, they do make hair that looks like that. But as soon as they called him Krusty, none of this is hair to me. This is all dirt now. Yeah. So this is, like, the belly shirt is not what throws me off. It's the fact that, like, because they phrased it like that, he now looks absolutely filthy to me. Yeah. (laughs) Change the subject. Defend witch house. Reappropriate... (laughs) Reappropriate lines from Taken. Three. Uh-uh. <laughs> I will find you. I will kill you. <laughs> I have a very specific set of skills. <laughs> I really want three. <laughs> uh. Yes. Yes, do this one. Yes. I, I, what? I just want to change the subject. I don't I don't I'm I'm very much against the movie Taken in general. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. One of my favorite it's, lines in Deadpool was you know they made three of those movies? At a certain point, you have to wonder if he's just a bad father. <laughs> <laughs> you he's just he's got a very specific set of skills. None of them are being apparent. <laughs> Changes, I just what? want to change the subject, because I'm definitely not defending Witch House. I don't even sure what that is. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, by the third kidnapping, the daughter's like, fucking seriously? <laughs> I have shit to do. I have a job. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Pablo, I didn't know you worked here. <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah, man, today's my first day. Matt's still training me. Froedrick! Uh. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Matt comes out from the washing... Wait, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> from the washing dishes. <laughs> a great Canadian punk band. <laughs> <laughs> 
Matt comes out from washing dishes in the back room to meet Amanda. That does and sound I, like a Canadian punk band. <laughs> he and I dishes. high five as fellow cool people do. <laughs> as fellow cool people do. I see you've met my newest employee. Bad choice, bad choice, bad choice. He's so good. Don't you want customers? At your <laughs> service, although I'm only here until Vacant Vale starts their world tour. He'll be here a while. Mm. When's that, bitch? <laughs> Not soon enough. Well, we have to put out a record first. So, you, you fucking hopeless? <laughs> he reminds me of... All me. right, Pablo. Now what do we do with customers again? We fucking sell them shit. <laughs> Muffins. <laughs> right, yes. <laughs> Pablo clears his throat. <clears> throat. Oh, God. Hello, good folk of Maple Bay. Can I interest you in a tasty caffeinated beverage? A smashing pumpkin spice latte, <clears throat> please. Oh, my God, yes. I love this place. <laughs> a classic. And you? Americano football. Def- decaf Father for John cutie. Yeasto. Oh my god. Decaf for cutie is killing me. I, I love that. Fine. I also like Americano football. But... A decaf for cutie, please. <laughs> you can just hand it to Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want too much caffeine. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Sounds like you're settling. <laughs> I have a very early bedtime, <laughs> but I just can't miss. Hey. Oh, uh, the sound of settling is a death cap for cutie oh song, which was the band this was a pun off of. Aww. So when I said it, it sounded like you're settling. Oh I, my God, Matt, I love I, you. Matt. I'm just going to stop talking. No, now. keep Baby. talking. Keep talking, you're perfect. Coming right up. <laughs> Go away, Pablo. Pablo gets to work making our drinks while Matt observes him. Hopefully Observe he'll me. wash his hands first. Yeah, sounds great. He'll get the hang of it for as goofy of a dude as he is. Kid works hard. He could work a little hard on bathing. (laughs) I was going to say, like, (laughs) we should do it at the shower. (laughs) (laughs) Nice sentence there, Ed. No problem. (laughs) Hey, man, that concert was a lot of fun. We should hang out again. Hell yes. Oh, my God. I love him. I'm actually going to be done training Pablo in a couple hours. I'm going to go record... Record, record, shopping. Oh, re- record shopping. I was going to record shopping. Like, what? <laughs> record shopping. Want to come along? <laughs> I got the mics. I set up this mixer on my backpack, and I have the camera right here. You ready? <laughs> I'm going to totally record me getting some meatloaf. <laughs> he has a GoPro. Got some sausage. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. That's totally. We should start a shopping YouTube channel called Guys with Sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pablo brings us our drinks, and Amanda buries herself in her laptop. I spend my time sipping, sipping my drink and cracking jokes with Matt. Do you think there's any, like, ASMR of, like, sucking dicks? What? Like, you have you guys heard of ASMR? No. It's, like, this weird, like, there's this weird like sensory experience that people have like uh-huh. like you put something really close to a microphone and you like I don't know uh, like I just want to go on a date ASMR of the sound of of ripping cardboard or whatever like they just do it like really close to the mic and it's supposed to like apparently some people get like this weird like sensory thing where like they their head tingles or whatever I've, I've never been able to successfully make it work for me. I've listened to tons of ASMR. But, like, they'll have, like, ASMR of, like, folding clothes. They'll have ASMR of ripping paper. They'll have ASMR of, like, ironing things. Here, one second. Evie! But, yeah, so they'll have, like, ASMR of things that, like, typically calm people down a lot of times. Like, mm. Shannon uses it a lot to, like, fall asleep. But I'm wondering, like, you could do that with anything. You could record the sound of anything. So is there, like, ASMR of, like... Sucking dick, probably. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm just curious. Can we just go on a It's date? very saliva <laughs> and sounds kind of gross. <laughs> Last opinion. time we hung out, he told me that he had trouble hanging out with other people. But for some reason, he and I can talk and joke like old buds. Aww. It's weird. I feel really comfortable. Oh. I feel comfortable around him, <laughs> inside him. Once Matt feels comfortable leaving Pablo on his own, the store is burning behind us. I say <laughs> goodbye to Amanda, and we start walking to the record store. Do you smell fire? <laughs> yeah, great. Have you ever been here before? Yeah, I've been on this street. Why? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, we have a record player sitting in the living room, but all I have are two copies of Frank. Why do you have two copies there, Frederick? 
What's going on, buddy? <laughs> oh, this should be fun then. We're going to find you some good stuff. The walls of the store are packed with posters, artwork, stickers. Yacht and Club records. Miracle. <laughs> Fake beard arms race. Sad swears. Steady bow. <laughs> Dinner food. <laughs> Dover ghost. Couples therapy. <laughs> <laughs> A few, uh -uh. <laughs> a few people mill around, flipping through milk crates of albums. Some mm. indie band is playing through the speakers. It's a nice vibe. <laughs> what a yacht club. Sometimes band. I come here just to jam. So, why do people still uh -oh. buy records? Isn't it kind of outdated at this point? Fuck you, Matt. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> There's a lot of people who st will still try to tell you that vinyl sounds warmer or more true to the artist's intent. But really, I think it's just nice to collect records. Aww. Aww. Hey. It's cool that in this day and age, we have just about every song ever created available instantaneously on our phones. But there's something about holding an album and getting to see the artwork in your hands that I'll always love. That's fair. I feel like Danny would say that on a date. <laughs> like, hey. Do you think we're dating Black Danny? Is that what you're trying to say? God, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I try to get as many of the records that I love in physical forms as possible. Oh, that's cool. So he has the MP3s. He just also gets the, the album, so he has it. Remember when we were kids and we'd have to wait by the radio with a cassette tape so that we could record <laughs> our favorite songs? Oh, my God. It made Aww. each li listen really special, and mixtapes were even cooler because of how much work they took. Oh, my gosh. If he gives us a mixtape, I'm gone. Please. <laughs> Now, now you just make a playlist. I think the last time someone gave me a real mixtape was in high school. And I slept with him immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I look around the multi-level record store and spot some genres. There's only one floor. Future Isn't wave, multi jungle, anarcho pop, non exploitation. Anarcho pop, non exploitation. <laughs> I have no idea where to even start. Non exploitation. I vote non exploitation. Remember that movie? Yes, I do. Corey. It was like none of your business or something none of like that? that. None of that. That was it. It's a bunch of nuns with fucking machine guns and stuff. Awesome, man. This this is overwhelming. Oh. This is just a lot. <laughs> Here, let me help you find something you might like. Can we hold yes. In non exploitation section. I was going to say, Frodrick just leans in a little closer. I can tell that's your thing. <laughs> hey, fancy me, like. Can we hold hands? I might get lost. If you were a milkshake, what, <laughs> what flavor would you be? Oh my god. <laughs> Chatty, baby. <laughs> Please make me chocolate. Cookies and cream, vanilla, uh. strawberry, or purple. <laughs> I love purple. <laughs> purple. Uh, personally, I like cookies and cream. That's my favorite milkshake. But I love the fact that purple is an answer. White, oh, my God. His white shirt's purple. This could be a pickup line. But well, maybe. You want to try it? <laughs> I'm I kind of want to say cookies and cream because we're white and he's black. Ooh. Mm, that's a good one. Ellie, what are we choosing? I mean, I'm not going. Purple just makes it sound stupid. <laughs> it does stupid, but it does sound like something I would legit say. Purple. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what kind of milkshake are you? Uh, purple. Idiot. That's a flavor of Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> and where's hell? Um, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be going that way. <laughs> I, I forget who it was. It might have been Chris Rock. Was saying like, no, it's or no, I think it was uh, uh, Dave Chappelle. Maybe was like. No, it's just purple flavored. And people start laughing. He's like, no, I'm serious. Grapes don't taste like that. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't great. <laughs> All right, so what are we choosing, guys? Come on. Well, I vote for cookies and cream, although purple is a good second. I am down. Because it will be funny. <laughs> I am down with cookies and cream, though I vote we acquire some in real life as well. Ooh. <laughs> We just had lunch. So? What's your point? <laughs> Ooh. If you could only Apple buy cinnamon. one type of candle scent for the rest of your life, what would it be? Apple okay. cinnamon. What? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Daffodil Mountain Spring, Camouflage Summer Breeze, Spring Creek Fireball, Power Violence Cherry Boss. Power Violence Cherry Boss. I am loving that one. I'm frightened. I like the top one and the bottom one. The Power Violence Cherry Blossom sounds like you had a 
diarrhea explosion in the bathroom <laughs> and tried to cover it up so with cherry spring blossom. Spring Creek See, Fireball. No, Spring Creek Fireball just sounds like you're drinking Fireball outside. Ugh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Camouflage summer breeze. What is our favorite candle scent? Right. On next episode, no strategy guide. <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe. Vote for power, violence, cherry blossom. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 God damn, guys. <laughs>